Rocky Mountain. This is on your way to Asheville. If you're going along Interstate 40 heading west, you can see Heather Bumgarner and Branscombe sharing this from Montreat. Montreat, their beautiful spot. If you've never been, this is one of my favorite places too in North Carolina. Tim Reed also sharing a gorgeous spot from Yakinville. This is Yakinville Memorial Park, Lake Hampton. Just beautiful overlooking those treetops. You can see the color really getting going here in the foothills as well toward the Piedmont Triad. Temperatures down to 60 degrees tomorrow morning. This is very mild. We should be at 45 degrees for morning lows. 57 in the foothills and 56 in the mountains, so partly clear skies. And we are mild thanks to that ridge of high pressure. Very active cold front right now, bringing finally more rain for folks across the Ohio River Valley as we go into the next 24 hours. Now, a lot of that energy is going to move north before it has a chance to move east. So light rainfall totals are still expected going into Tuesday. For now, we love the dry weather. We love the warm conditions. 61 degrees at this hour in Burlington, down to 64 in Moxville, 67 in Yakinville. Temperatures still at 70 degrees. You can see up in King to near 73 Winston-Salem. So gradual temperature drops here within the next few hours as we see those temps drop. Low 60s, upper 50s at best. Highs today, 83 degrees in Greensboro, 84 Burlington, 73 in Jefferson. So the mountain's doing well too. Typically 67, no record setting temperatures, but we're getting close. We had 86 degrees back in 18. 19, 27 back in 1957. Now we've got some 20s and even some 30s for your morning lows on the seven day forecast too. I even hate to say it, but we've got 60 degrees as we mentioned for you tomorrow, 82 for that afternoon high, 81 in the foothills from Yakinville through Elkin and Jonesville. Just beautiful out there. 56 degrees in the mountains to 74 for that afternoon high. So a great looking afternoon again. And as we hover close to those near record setting temperatures, we're expecting to see no more 80s on that seven day forecast once we hit Monday. So two Tuesday afternoon, our temperatures drop some 30 degrees. Same for our morning lows going into your Wednesday now, too. It looks like this cold air batch is going to rush in and bring us some light rainfall. Not a whole lot of rain expected with this system, but you see those clouds really beginning to build. And back to our west, even for Sunday, lots of sunshine ahead of it. Upper 60s by about 10.30 a.m., 70s to 80s as we get you through the afternoon hours. And then by early Monday morning, we're still mild. We've got the 60s. We've got sunshine most of the day. It's not until much later that maybe we see a sprinkle. And so all of this happens overnight into your Halloween during the day. Some scattered showers begin to build and it might mean a little bit messy commute for our morning on Tuesday. Rainfall totals still looking very light and all of that really winding down by early evening on our trick or treating forecast for you too. We've got temperatures out there in the 30s Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Look at this even 20s possible for Thursday morning. So this will be the first freeze of the season as we look ahead at least for Thursday. Thursday and Friday and possibly now even Wednesday. We'll have to see if we can drop those winds down. Your trunk or treat forecast for tomorrow though, just beautiful. You need the shades and the shorts and your Halloween forecast. Oh, so different. We've got cloudy conditions, rain chances still lingering, and those winds are going to make us feel potentially late evening more like the 30s for that trick or treat forecast. So if you are trick or treating, you need the extra layers and maybe a windbreaker or two to help keep you a little bit warmer. Here's that seven day forecast. You can see we've got two alert days, Thursday and Friday for those cold morning lows and on your Halloween, much chillier. We'll be back with more after this.